Hello friends, welcome to HTML video tutorial series. In this video tutorial, I am going to discuss introduction to HTML5. So far, whatever tags and attributes we have learned, almost all of them belong to HTML4. And almost all of them are allowed to use in HTML5 document. Then what is HTML5? HTML5 is the latest specification of HTML. We know that HTML is designed by Tim Berners-Lee in 1991. And HTML is maintained by W3C. Stands for World Wide Web Consortium. From 1991 to 1999, many HTML specifications were released by W3C. From HTML1 to HTML4. As I told, whatever tags and attributes we have learned so far, they are all belong to HTML4. In 2004, WhatWag, Web Hypertext Application Technology Working Group, a group of web experts started observations on how web designers or developers are developing websites. They observed patterns of using tags, patterns of using attributes, styles, classes, values, ID values by the web designers or web developers. Based on the observations in 2008, WhatWag released first public working draft. This specification defines new features, new tags and new attributes added to the HTML. It provided list of removed tags, list of deprecated tags and attributes in fifth version of HTML. We know that in modern HTML, everything should be syntactically and semantically meaningful to web designers or developers and user agents, that is users and user agents. User agents means browsers. Users means here web designers and developers. Any web page that you create, it should be syntactically and semantically meaningful to everyone. I hope you guys remember that we have created different layouts of web pages. You can see here, we created this is one layout, this is another layout, this is another layout. All these layouts we created by using div tag, right? Here we have a source code for first layout. This is the source code for second layout. This is the source code for third layout. And if you observe carefully, for creating every section, we use a div only. Any section I need to create, we used to cre create a div, right? To create a header section, we used div tag. To create a navigation section, we used div tag. To create main content section, we used div tag. To create a footer, we used div tag. We know that div is a generic container tag. It is used to create sections in web pages. Of course, in HTML4, to create all these sections, we used to use div tag. As I told that web experts started observing how people are using different HTML tags, attributes and values to the IDs. They observed that people are using header value most commonly for ID attribute of a header section. They observed that most commonly all over the world web designers are using footer value for an ID attribute of a footer division. So what they have done is they created tags. For example, to create a header section in HTML5, we use a header tag. To create a footer section, we use a footer tag in HTML5. To create a navigation section, we use nav tag. To create any generic section, we use section tag. To create any sidebars, we use a side tag. In HTML4, to create a header section, nav section, footer section, sidebar, for all of the sections, we used to use div tag. In HTML5, now we have some common tags that we can use for creating some specific sections. Of course, you can see here to identify the header division. Here I have used the header as a value. If you come to this layout, here I have used head value as a ID attribute. Just imagine all over the world, what are the values web designers might be using. Some might be using heading, some might be using header, some might be using header division, some might be using head section like that. There was no commonness in HTML4 web pages. It is difficult to identify the divisions by different web designers or web browsers. And also you can see to identify the wrapper here I have used a container whereas here I have used the wrapper. Here I have used main container as a value of ID attribute for wrapper division. Just imagine all over the world people might be using different different values, right? That is not a common thing. To identify HTML5 documents syntactically common, they created specific tags. In modern HTML5 documents, to create header section, we use header tag only. Every web designer or a developer uses header tag only. Every web designer or a web developer uses the 
footer tag only to create a footer section instead of div tag and using the id attribute and giving some value also in html5 many new tags are added which are related to web applications like audio and video tags to control the audio and video applications canvas tag for 2d rendering you can see here some list list of deprecated tags i have listed here like bold italic u these tags are recommended not to use in html5 documents because they are deprecated instead of them we can use css styles to make a text bold we can use css font weight property hope you guys are understanding what is the purpose of html5 and what is html5 html5 is the latest revision or latest specification of html in 2014 html5 is released as a stable w3c recommendation html5 emphasizes on creating web pages and web applications which are syntactically and semantically consistent and meaningful to users as well as user agents that is web designers and web developers i hope you guys have understood what is the purpose of html5 and what is html5 for this tutorial this much is enough friends in the next tutorial we get more information for more benefits and be updated please subscribe to my youtube channel and don't forget to like comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited keep learning keep coding keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much see you in the next tutorial